I'm not crazy. No, but you do have a vivid imagination, and you've been stuck inside for two weeks. What were you doing looking out the window anyway? I was bored. So you saw what you wanted to see? When did you take your last painkiller? I was not hallucinating. Come on, Castle. You're here with a broken leg, binoculars, seeing a rear window scenario play out across the way. I mean, what are the odds? Astronomical. All right. I'm going to make us some dinner and then get you to bed. Oh, I can explain. Please don't. Listen, he was pacing back and forth in his apartment, and he kept looking towards the bedroom. And then he slept on the couch. Now, why would you sleep on the couch when you have a perfectly good bed? I could ask you the same question. I'll tell you why. Because he had a dead body in there. Ryan and Esposito didn't find it because he hid it. Do you realize what you're doing? You're obsessing over this because you have nothing else to obsess about. Why don't you just come with me to the precinct, focus on a real murder instead of wasting your time on an imaginary one? Well, actually, I was thinking about just uh, trying to do some writing today. OK, as long as by writing you don't mean staring out the window and ogling at your neighbors. No. That would be immoral and intrusive. Yeah, like you've never done that before. <laughs> 